Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Space Bandit. And I made the mistake of turning the sound up a bit, but then I have to turn it back down again. Um, I covered this on one of my previous streams, but I really liked the game and the game has also been given a couple of extra updates. So I wanted to uh, make sure that this game got its proper spotlight because it's really cool. Let's uh, get into, oh, we got different modes now. Hardcore boards, okay. Let's, uh, let's do casual because I might be able to show off a little bit more of the, uh, I don't know, working mechanics or maybe more of the content because the game is really hard. It's, it's very difficult. Um, let me see here. What, what do I want? The worst gun. The shot. All right, let's, let's take that. I could buy that, but I'm not going to. So uh, this game is basically like Hotline Miami with a bit of a roguelite spin. Um, the dev actually got in contact with, uh, with me. They um, key provided. Thank you very much, dev. I really appreciate you. Um, and told me that uh, they I had received a comment on one of my previous Let's Tries talking about another game that was also similar to Hotline Miami. And the, the consensus was like, oh, I wish that this like did a bit more to stand out uh, from just being Hotline Miami, but in roguelite form. So I think that this does the job and this is like what the dev has endeavored to do is basically let's let's try making a Hotline Miami with a bit more flavor of a bit of its own spin and style. I think it does well. I think it does a really good job of standing out, but I also haven't seen too much of the game because it's really difficult. It does, however, do a really good job of uh, making it very painless to like retry like get jump back into like you're gonna run into this situation first of all here's our first kind of semi-death you don't actually die in this game what you do is you have a a life preserver there that lets you teleport and you can actually telekill uh enemies and you get a bit of a slow-mo thing so there's a lot of a lot of style going on here um not just like aesthetically but also like mechanically there's a lot a lot going on um, can't remember which button it is to drop. Okay, it's E. You can, um, you can hold two different weapons, or I think some weapons are two-handed, so let me try and pick this one up. No, hold on a second. Oh, wait a minute, I, that's the, that's the railgun. Yeah, okay, so I have a, you have a railgun, um, but it's like a, kind of a one-off thing. So, the quantum suicide drive works, that where the bullet missed a little, causing a joint hallucination. And we're still back on our ship, firing guns at rats. So, while you were busy, I've been working on a new product. It's called the Kill Streak, or KS for short. Pick one up and I'll tell you how it works. Pick up the Kill Streak. Okay. The Anti-Dug, level one helmet. Yeah, let's pick that up. Stops a few bullets, but then breaks. All right, excellent choice. So here's how it works. Every time you get a certain number of kills in a row, the kill streaks item will teleport onto you. How many kills depends on how powerful the kill streaks item is. You can check the item and kills needed by hovering it, uh, it while paused. The product is still in early access, but I want to use this revenge rampage as an opportunity to dog food it. That that's a I don't. I didn't think that dog food was a was a. Uh, oh God, uh, a verb. What what are we, do <laughs> what are we doing, what are we doing with language right now? So let's use the suicide drive to keep harassing this cult. Pick up the suicide drive. All right. Let me pause and see what's going on here. So we have our dead man teleporter teleports you away before death. Will jib anything in its path? Is it gib or jib? Um. Real gun shoots through walls. The shot, auto shotgun on kill streak nine. And then this is the anti dug level one helmet on kill streak nine. Not sure. They, they, they explained it to me and maybe I understand, but I don't think I do. <laughs> so we just uh, quantum killed ourselves. So this is a boss. No, it's not a boss. This is a guy. Um, uh, interesting. Okay, so we've reshuffled things a bit. When I played this game the first time, uh, we had to fight a, I had to fight like a quantum boss before um, I would be introduced to these guys. These guys don't tend to die on their first kill. 
they have the the same similar ability to me in that they uh but just before they die they get to quantum jump or teleport basically there's a bit of a the, the there's a game called um heat it's it called is it called heat oh man my brain doesn't work too good these days heat um heat signature Heat Signature is it's one of my favorite games, um, but it's also kind of another spacey, roguelike game. Uh, not not as much Hotline Miami. It takes It's got more of a serious tone than Hotline Miami. Not that Hotline Miami doesn't get serious, but um, it's a bit more, uh, I guess, down to earth, connected with reality. Uh, all, all of these games, this one included, seems to have some kind of weird connection with a, a you know, many hallucinogens. But, uh, in any case, uh, Heat, Heat Signature, really, really cool game. It's basically, um, Hotline Miami with teleporting and also, like, 50 other mechanics. I love it. I kind of want to do a series on it, but in any case, this, uh, this game does a good, it's a, it does a good job of bridging the gap between, like, the, the rogue, the whole roguelite thing, um, as well as kind of a bit of Heat Signature, because, you know, it, you've got, like, um, Base, you know, we got space windows we can take advantage of and, and like kind of suck people out into the vacuum of space, which is kind of cool. Uh, auto shotgun, sure, we'll, we'll take that. I'm still not sure what I'm doing with some of these kill streak weapons. Kill streak eight, kill streak, okay, seven, eight, nine. So, what does that mean? Do I have the auto shotgun now? The shot. Auto shotgun on kill streak nine. I, I am on kill streak nine. Spawn super items on certain count hit. I see. So does that mean I have the auto shotgun now? I'm I'm, I'm having a bit of a hard time understanding. It's not the game's fault. It's just that sometimes I'm I'm a dang fool that doesn't understand. Left from right. There's a I love that vacuum effect so much. It's so nice. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do my uh, railgun effect there. We're at kill streak 18 now. I want to make sure that I have everything I need. Uh, I don't have any more. I don't have a railgun anymore, so I just gotta kill this guy. 19. Uh oh. Okay, there goes our kill streak. Unfortunately. Oh, the vacuum is so good. I stunned that guy. Oh, I don't have a gun. Oops. So I guess maybe you lose your cool gun. Bullshit. Try level again. Can only use once every 10 minutes. I, that's an interesting um, rule that I can kind of get behind. Who died? Wow. So does that mean I can't use it again for another 10 minutes even if I died again? Like, can I... If I die now, will I, will I have it again? It's an interesting idea. I like the idea of, like, you get, like, one gimme in a roguelite. It almost feels like, um... Like, I would love to have, like, a, a, a mode of uh, Caves of Cud, for instance, where you have... You, it's not r quite roleplay, where you have unlimited forgiveness. You have a little bit of forgiveness. You get, like, one extra... You get one free death. It'd be kind of cool. Um, I'd like to see more of that in roguelites, maybe. Like, not complete forgiveness, just a little bit of forgiveness, you know? A little bit of forgiveness goes a long way in these games. Okay, we need our rail gun. We still don't have a gun. There we go. So I'm at kill streak nine. Does that mean uh, I don't? I guess I don't have any weapons because I haven't collected one yet. Auto shotgun, kill streak nine. Uh, the anti dug. Okay, let's pick up the anti dug. Does it like I? I'm at kill streak nine. Do I have the anti dug now? Ooh, did I? Did I get him into the vacuum of space? No. Not really. These guys don't seem to want to die. So I do think I'm wearing a helmet now. Blocks all bullets from the front. Breaks after a few hits. Okay. So I think I'm understanding. You automatically get your, your cool item that you bought, basically, after a certain number of kill streaks. Oh, Oh, you can use your teleport prematurely. That's interesting. I did not know that. 
Okay, that was like pure panic mode. Where did he go? That was weird. He kind of like went into an extra room there. Can I pick that up? No. So I could like use that teleport. I don't really want to right now. But you could use the teleport to like surprise people. Maybe that's how you're supposed to kill some of these teleporting dudes. But it's, it is your only like safety, right? Like if you use it, you don't have it anymore. Um, and, and once it's gone, if you die, you're dead for good. If you die in the game, you are dead in the game. Trying to kill as many people as possible with a- if I'm gonna use it- Oh. Yeah, look at that, you can only use it once. Even if you're- even if you're like on a completely different playthrough, it doesn't matter. You don't get another- uh, another bullshit. That's actually interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. May I feel like maybe you should be able to buy a new one. Like, if you reach a certain kill streak. You should be able to get, like, uh, you refresh the, the cooldown on it. That'd be kind of fun. That's like an extra incentive to get your kill streak, like, super high. That being said, getting your kill streak really high on these early stages is pretty easy. May as well use the railgun because there's an extra one sitting on the floor here. HE grenade. I don't like the grenade. I like, I like the shotgun. I like that effect. It's, it's kind of funky. What happened there? Okay, those guys, I'm not quite sure when and how they're supposed to die. Did I get the shotgun? What is this? That, that's nothing, apparently. Um, the shot. Auto shotgun. I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell... Where is my shotgun? I want a shotgun. I'm at kill streak 25. I totally deserve a shotgun. You can see when they're stunned, which is nice. I'm not sure, like, for some of these guys, when are they supposed to be dead? That was a nice, nice double kill there. Oh, he's still not dead. So that looks like the shotgun there, and it's also shining, so that's gotta be it, right? So I have two shotguns, and they, they, that looks pretty good. Okay, one of them is, sh okay, I have to assume that I've got it figured out now. And I also have a helmet, things are working out pretty good, all right. Nice. Okay, oh! This is a tense game. It can, everything can go wrong in like a matter of milliseconds. Trying to get as much killed as much possible. Oh no! Damn, game is really hard. At least I got to try my shotgun and the, ch the shotgun was really good. The game does give you a mercy point at the beginning of each stage, which is kind of nice where everything is stunned. So you have a chance to kind of like um, catch all the enemies off guard. Might be a good time to take advantage of windows and stuff like, oh, I meant to use the railgun, not the, not the, that was a waste. It's okay, there's another one here. Nice double kill there. Thank God their aim is not the best. Sometimes it's like really on point and sometimes it's not. The Rossinante Railgun. Level one railgun. Okay. Alright, well we can we can try that. Um we're at kill streak three, so not not doing too good on our kill streak this time.
Where is he? See, it seems to me you have to kill this guy a couple of times. There we go. Before he officially dies. We don't have any rail guns. Maybe, I have a funny feeling that if they don't know where you are, if you don't make yourself known, then they won't shoot you so easily. They won't sh shoot you so quickly, I should say. Like, if you shoot them through walls... Oh, that was bad. Then, uh, then, then you, you get, like, a free kill, right? You can see where they're pointing. Like, you can see what direction they're looking in. So that might be a very good hint as to, like, uh, you know, where to where to try and catch them off guard. That guy tried to shoot me with a railgun. Ah. Uh. Oh, that was that was not nearly as good as I was hoping for. Okay, this is this is better. Okay, got a, I got a new helmet. I think it's better. Is this a better helmet? It's the same helmet. Um, are there any shining guns? Uh, that the, the, uh, small indication is actually very helpful. Kind of wouldn't mind trying something new. Like these, these. Oh, th those are. Oh, I see. Maybe if they're red. No, that doesn't make sense. I can't tell how much ammo I have. Oh, I see. I have like 25 and 13. Not a lot. 29 and 3. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, so this. The, the, the gun in my right hand is shining, so I have to assume it's actually pretty good. I should not have used my teleport. That was a real blunder. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. I'm not even getting to the boss I was getting to before. The the dev said they made the uh, the, the the ramp and challenge a little bit more forgiving, but I, I think they lied. <laughs> Straight up. I think this game's more difficult now. Certainly there's more to more you have to do before you get to a boss. There's a lot of enemies here. And I'm on casual mode also. Oh yeah, sometimes they'll go, go around and like recover each other. As if things are not hectic enough, you have to make sure that they don't have an opportunity to, uh, to recover. You just gotta kill them. Kill them as quickly as you can. See, this guy teleports. Not sure how to deal with him in an efficient way. Okay, we got a helmet. That's the important thing. We have, I think, everything we need. Okay, we got a free rail gun here. So that guy's got a helmet. Oh, cool. He used up his ammo. Maybe you can, like, use up, uh, get them to use up their, their ammo. I'm really trying to figure out good ways of dealing with some of these guys. All right, that worked out okay. I'm not sure if I'm doing things properly, but at least I'm alive. I'm at kill streak 18. That guy was not dying. Oh God. Not much for dubstep, but I actually kind of like the music in this game. Oh, that was bad. I'm still not done with this floor. Okay, now I am. Whoa, what? You didn't get thrown out the airlock. So we don't have a safety vest right now. 
which could be a problem. Gotta get the drop on them while you can. Apparently they can kill each other, which is nice. I always appreciate that when uh, when that happens in games. If the enemies have friendly fire. They're recovering. Oh no! Bullshit. Oh god. Things, this is really hectic. <sighs> you can really die in an instant in this game. Sometimes it feels like there's not much you can do about it. Like, you can certainly try and mitigate things, but I feel like sometimes it's just so quick that I, I don't even know what I should have been doing differently. That was just luck. Seems like, okay, no, the, the kick is not an insta-kill. Give me, give me that railgun. Maybe you just have to be really fast. Like, just be bold, you know? Don't, don't worry about, uh, enemies hitting you. Just, just do. Just go. You know? I mean, that worked out pretty well. Hmm, that not so much, but at least I got my safety vest back. I can do really well on these first couple of levels and then and then it all goes awry. I died. Yeah, I think I have to come to the, some kind of a conclusion that either the game is too quick with some of its deaths, like some of the challenge. Like I, I don't know how I'm supposed to be avoiding some of these deaths. Um, or I'm just not very good at the game. I'm sure people have already beaten this. I mean, that you know, stands to reason. If you release a game today, uh, it'll be beaten speedrun in about five minutes. But I'm trying my best. It's, it is interesting to me that I'm not even seeing the boss anymore. Okay, we're gonna take the shotgun again. I like the shotgun. So you have to, you definitely have to kill that guy three times. Maybe that's the boss. There's no way that's the boss. You can't, you cannot convince me that that is the boss I was originally fighting. I do really like that effect. Wow, I didn't even have a gun there for a moment. That was scary. I need a... Uh, I know I should have a shotgun. What happened there? There we go. That was, that was pretty good. I don't know what I did, but I did it. Oh, I railgunned. Um, I sh there should be a shot. I'm, okay, I guess I'm only on kill streak 7, so maybe not. I like this uh, assault rifle a lot, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna pick that up, and I'll pick up the other one as well because I want two fresh ones. You can you can tell where someone uh, teleports for a fraction of a second. That was good. Where is he? Oh. oh my god. Okay, so is this the farthest I've made it so far? Nope. Or maybe, I don't know. Okay, I want assault rifles. Oh, 
I thought I had a life preserver, but I didn't. Okay, one more try. One more try, and then I have to come to the unfortunate conclusion that I'm just not the person to showcase this game, because I'm not good enough at it. Or, or, I could just blame the game. I think, I like that idea. I think that that is the correct decision. It's not my fault, it's the game. <laughs> You're welcome, Dev. I, ho I hope you appreciate me covering this game an additional time so that I can just blame it because of my uh, my poor skills. Railgun. Um, I still don't fully understand how that works, but I, I guess I'd rather have the shotgun. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, try and launch those guys into space. Maybe that's, like, the most efficient way to kill them. Come on over here. Come over here, buddy. There we go. There we go. Yes. All right, that worked out all right, but it, this first couple levels are always pretty lax. That was really risky. Okay. Please die. There we go. All right, I'm doing maybe a little bit better. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah? One more? Uh, I'm out. I'm out! <sighs> okay, never mind. Alright, one more, and then, uh, I, and then I'm just, I'm, I'm good. Cause, I, I, I keep dying in a literally the same spot every single time. I wish, uh, maybe there was a bit more, like, oh, well, okay, that doesn't count. There was a bit more transparency in terms of, like, well, why is this guy not dying? How many times do, do I have to kill some of these guys in order for them to stay dead? Um, I'd appreciate stuff like that. Um, just having a bit of, like, information about that. But I think this game is, um, still early, so it's not, you know, there's, there's still a couple of kinks. No, don't bring your dude back to life. That's not what we're doing. I don't know. They seem to, like, say do stuff through the walls, and I'm not sure what that animation means either. Okay, we're picking up the Doug helmet. Anti-Doug helmet. I know there's uh, other guns I could be trying as well, and I also know there's a grenade. The grenade is G, though. I, can, I hope I can rebind that, because there's no way I'm ever going to hit G in a panic moment. Like, there's just no way. I think I'm out of gun. How many times do I have to kill them though? They're so, they, they don't want to die. Maybe I'm supposed to like, kick them. You know, like, did you keep dying? It seems like maybe three times. Maybe I have to kill them three times every time. And it's all the green ones. The green ones have to be killed several times. But I did actually end up using the grenade there. That was kind of nice. Yo, is someone recovering dudes? They are. Don't be recovering dudes.
Oh god. I, there is a life preserver right there. All right, let's check out the shop. I have 323 bullets. Um, reach. I have to reach much higher levels to get some of these, but I can get this one, the anti dug Well, I already got that. I thought I already had that. I mean, the bounce, bouncy boy. But I'm gonna have to reach 1.5. Apparently I haven't reached 1.5. Oh, it's a thousand dollars, that's why. So I think these are things that I can, um, I don't know. It seems like maybe I can take one of them. So let's try the bouncy boy. I'll try the bouncy boy and then, um, call it. Ooh, okay. That's actually really nice. But you only get it once. So like, y yeah, there's a little tiny bit of meta progression. I'm going to forgive it though, because it's so minor. Like, like, starting out with one extra consumable is not a big deal at all. Doesn't make make or break a run, I think. But those, the bouncy boy is actually really nice. Maybe, maybe it will make or break, I don't know. Hope not. I guess I'm, I'm I guess I'm trying one more time, all right. I don't like, I do not like the grenade, only because I don't like the button for it. I wish it was Q. I think Q would be better for it. I used up all my real guns for that. I have no regrets. No regrets. Okay. All right, maybe I could focus on killing one of them at a time. You know, like instead of like trying to kill each of them separately. Oh, I have no gun. Oh, there we go. That was good. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> I just like teleported to where he went and then kicked the ever living heck out of his face. That was good. Well, that wasn't good. Uh, I'm gonna die here for sure. That was nice. Oh, oh no! Okay, bouncy boy. Bouncy boy! No! Oh, bullshit. We're, we're starting that up. No, come on. All right, that's enough. That is enough. Space Bandit. Really hard. <laughs> really difficult game that I am not good at. But I'd still like it, and I wouldn't mind coming back to it at some point. Um... But uh, you let me know. Let me know if you this is your kind of game. Maybe maybe you're better at it than I am. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.